Okay, in this video we want to define the cross product, look at one of its most important properties, and do some examples. So if we're given these two vectors, and they're three-dimensional vectors, A and B, with components A1, A2, A3, and B1, B2, B3, the cross product of A and B, which we'll write as A cross B, is this new vector right here. So notice we have A2, B3 minus A3, B2, a3b1 minus a1b3, and finally a1b2 minus a2b1. So notice, uh, this is like fairly technical, but we're going to have an easier way to calculate this uh, by the end of the video. So the first thing we want to notice is the following observation, and that is a is perpendicular or orthogonal, more properly, to a cross b, and b is orthogonal to A cross B. So this is an important property of the cross product that it combines two vectors together and gives you a vector that is perpendicular to each. So geometrically what we have going on here is that if this is our vector A and let's say this is our vector B then our cross product will make a vector that is perpendicular to each. So this is A cross B, where if we measure each of these angles, we get 90 degrees. Okay, so let's look at the proof of this observation. And what we'll use is that two vectors are orthogonal exactly when their dot product is equal to zero. So we're going to take the vector A dot A cross B. Good. And so we should get zero. So notice this is going to be A1, A2, A3 dot this term right here. So notice we're going to have A2, B3 minus A3, B2. So that's our first component. A3, B1 minus A1, B3. That's our second component. And our third component is A1, B2 minus A2, B1. Good. Now notice we're going to have to multiply this term by this term. Add that with the product of the two second terms. And finally, add that with the product of the two third terms. So let's see what we get. So we're going to have A1 times the quantity A2B3 minus A3B2 plus A2 times the quantity A3B1 minus A1B3 and finally plus A3 times the quantity A1, B2 minus A2, B1. Great. But now let's notice that if we take A1 and multiply it through here, <coughs> A2 and multiply it through on both of these terms, and finally A3 and multiply it through on both of these terms, we'll find that we have exactly enough pairs to cancel out. So this A1, A2, B3 is going to be canceled by this A2, A1, B3. So notice this term and this term are gonna cancel. Great. And then this A1, A3, B2 is going to be exactly canceled by this one over here. Okay, great. And we've got one more. So this A2, A3, B1 is going to be canceled by this A3, A2, B1. Okay, good. And notice we get here in the end, it's equal to zero, which tells us that these two are orthogonal. So I won't do the other proof where B is perpendicular to A cross B, but that's easy to show. Okay, so I'll clean up the board and then we'll write down a couple more properties. Okay, so here are some more properties of the cross product. So if you take a vector and cross it with itself, you'll get zero. So you can check that with the formula, but it's not too hard to see. Notice in this case, you would have 
um, B3 would be the same thing as A3, and B2 would be the same thing as A2, so this is gonna become zero because we'd have A2, B3 minus A3, B2, and so on and so forth. So that's easy to see. I like to think about this like a confusion. Remember that the cross product produces a vector orthogonal to uh, the two you started with, but if you only start with one vector, then the whole system is confused and it can't decide um, which direction to take the orthogonal vector because you have a whole plane. Also, we have A cross B equals negative B cross A, so the cross product is not commutative. Um, in fact, when you commute them, you get a minus sign. So this is sometimes called anti-commutative. And the geometric representation of this is like uh, the following. So if we have A pointing in this direction, B pointing in this direction, A cross B is the red vector pointing up, and B cross A is the orange vector pointing down. And this is ruled by something called the right hand rule. So if you take your pointer finger on your right hand and point it in the direction of A, and your middle finger on your right hand in the direction of B, then your thumb is pointing in the direction of A cross B. And then we have this distributive rule for the cross product over vector addition, so that's nice. And then remember we've got these uh, standard basis vectors in R3, and they ob obey the cross product rule as follows. So I cross J is K, J cross K is I, K cross I is J. And you can think about this in this nice uh, loop uh, where you put I, J, and K in this circle, and if you go counter, sorry, clockwise around the circle, you get plus signs. So I cross J is K, J cross K is I, K cross I is J, but if you go in the reverse direction, you get minus signs, and that works off of this rule. So J cross I is negative K because we're going around uh, against the arrows. I cross K is negative J, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna clean up the board, and then we're gonna look at a simpler way to calculate the cross product. Okay, so now here's an easier way to calculate the cross product. So first we need to define this thing called the two, two by two determinant. So if we have this two by two matrix A, B, C, D, then the determinant, which we'll write with just big absolute values on either side, is A, D minus B, C. Okay, so now if we define vector A to be A1, A2, A3, and B to be B1, B2, B3, then A cross B is this three by three determinant, which can be expanded in terms of two by two determinants. So let's see how that goes. So how you wanna think about this is you cross out the first row and the first column, and that's gonna give you this leftover matrix here, which we take the determinant of and then multiply by the vector i because that is in the intersection of that first row and that first column. The next thing you do is cross out the second column in the first row. Those intersect in j and you take the determinant of this matrix that's left over. But this one has to have a minus sign in it. So that's important to remember. And then finally, you cross out this final column and the first row, that intersects in K, leaves you this two by two matrix that you take the determinant of and that's your K direction. Okay, so this is a super important formula. It's a bit easier to remember than this defining formula. So I think it's a little bit uh, nicer. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll do a nice example. Okay, so we're gonna finish this video off with an example of the cross product. So we wanna find the cross product of one, negative three, two, with two, four, negative one. So notice this is gonna give us a vector that's perpendicular to each. So using our uh, new way of calculating it, we make this three by three matrix with the vector i, j, k along the first row, and then this vector in the second row, so one, negative three, two, and then our next vector in the third row, so two, four, minus one. Great. And now we think about crossing out the first column and the first row, those intersect in an I and leave us with this determinant of negative three, two, four, negative one, that's in the I direction. And then we subtract 
the matrix that we get by crossing out the second row and the, sorry, the second column in the first row, which is uh, one, two, two, minus one, and that's gonna be in the J direction because that's our intersection. And then finally, we cross out the last column and the first row, and that's gonna give us the matrix one, minus three, two, four, and that is in the K direction. Okay, good. Now we can calculate those determinants. So that's gonna be three minus eight, so that'll be minus five in the I direction. Minus, so that's gonna be minus one, minus four, so that's gonna be minus five in the J direction. Good, and then uh, finally plus, so we have four minus negative six, so that's gonna be plus 10 in the K direction. Now, if we wanna put that back into component form, notice that's gonna give us minus five in the first component, positive five in the second component, and positive 10 in the third component. So we took a cross product. Okay, that's the end of this video.